So welcome to Transform 2019. So AI may be the fastest paradigm shift in tech history. I'm going to come back to that in a second. Just want to set up because these concepts are fairly complicated, right? So what do we mean by AI? So AI is a general term coined in 1956 referring to hardware and software that appears intelligent. Machine learning is a modern form of AI that's referring to software, right, that can learn by training to do complicated things, learning by training rather than following sets of rules. And then deep learning is a subset of that, right? This is where software approximates the functions, the neurons in a brain to, to, to achieve uh, solutions. So 2016 through 2019, those three years, we've seen one in 25 companies using AI go to one in three, right? So the adoption over the last three years has been phenomenal. And it's increased threefold over the last 12 months, right? So we're peaking this year. So in 2019, we've crossed the chasm to the early majority, right? Essentially, right now, we can say that. It's happening that quickly. So how does that compare to previous cycles of innovation, right? So MMC Ventures did some work on this uh, with some other data. AI, three years to reach more than a quarter of the population, right, in terms of what everyone's using beyond the, the, the fringe uses that have been, been happening before this to, uh, to generally in your phone and elsewhere and all companies using it. Web took seven years. That's the fastest before this. Smartphone seemed fast, but it took 10 years, right, to reach a quarter of the population. So why did it happen so fast, right? Well, there's a convergence of factors happening here, right, and trends coming together at the same time. Advances in chip architecture, right? So you heard about the NVIDIA GPU trip, lowering the cost to about $2,000 a few years ago, and it's come down even more, right? Radically lowering the cost for everyone, developers, individual developers to use. Advances in research and algorithms, where collaboration on the web has allowed that to happen faster. Explosion of data, right? We keep hearing about that on the web, but also the phone and in sensors in the IoT. Cloud computing which is allowing the easier storing and hosting of data and applications, AI applications as well. And then the big platform companies, of course, that are offering auto ML products and are open sourcing to make sure they stay up in the race to get others to contribute to their platforms. But of course, when you get results, then other companies see that and they keep doubling down as the push goes on. So there's the momentum factor as well. So AI may solve some of our most intractable problems. If you start talking to the, the scientists out there, uh, you, you realize that things like uh, climate change or pollution, right, things that threaten our existence as a planet, uh, can only be fixed by, by AI. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to go back. Uh, things like water, uh, energy, transportation, food, disease and human suffering. Education, a lot of these things can be helped through AI. But there are harm, harms that come from powerful technology, right? When used wrong, you can get things powerfully wrong. There can be bias, right? Uh, Socioeconomic bias, there could be gender bias, ethnic bias, there could be privacy problems, security problems generated, all kinds of ethical problems that get into weaponry and some of the people that are fearing what could happen here. Uh, general population, but also experts. So these two trends, right, the success that we're seeing from AI, but also the caution that we're, we, we must hear are the two main thrusts of Transform 2019. Now, all AI events have three pillars. Oh, excuse me, Venture Beat events have three pillars. Maybe there's three pillars in AI events as well. There is in this one. So in, in, in venture beat events, we are focused on news. That's our heritage, right? So we have focused all of our sessions over the course, probably around uh, at least 100 sessions over the course of the next couple of days, to be fresh. Now, there is some, some hard news announcements. Um, but I think most of the news is going to come in the, in the form of soft news, right, or scoops of insight, if you will, right? You are hearing these stories for the first time. 
Second pillar is about technology. This is clearly an event focused for business executives to learn about pragmatic AI technology and strategy. Focused on the enterprise, smaller companies will obviously get something out of this as well, right? But we're focused on practical applications and real results. Networking, right? So as you heard from, from, from Stuart earlier, there's an app you should download and meet the folks here. Um, but right after the keynotes in this room, we're going to a vertical networking session, right? Broken out by verticals, finance, and so on, right? Because the rest of the event, as you just heard, is organized by horizontal, right? Computer vision, right? Uh, we, you know, edge, RPA, the business integration, right? Business transformation. Of course, conversational AI, as Stuart mentioned, is one of those which had the most traction so far, and we're hearing the most interest from some of our reg registrants. So what's happening here at this event is really reflecting what's happening in AI. There's a, there's a thirst for information. So we've been doing events at VentureBeat for the last 10 years. We started in mobile with the mobile revolution. But then three years ago in 2016, we transitioned and created one of the first business events focused on AI. And then we launched Transform last year, which had 300 executives attend in line with our focus on intimacy. But we expanded this year to 1,000 folks right, to meet that demand, but while trying to keep the intimacy of our events, because we know one of the most important things is to meet those key business decision makers for you. So I'm going to come back to the community in a second, but wanted to talk about the AI survey. So over the last couple of years, we've done an AI survey of our readers. Uh, it's based on uh, a little more than 113 respondents. And this year has some interesting observations. So what is the main barrier for uh, implementing AI? Among, and this is specifically among buyers of technology. We split the, the survey into two groups, right? buyers and sellers. 50% said too little talent, too few resources. And some of these other, other areas, high pro, higher priorities they mentioned, too little sponsorship from, from execs, uh, or lack of use cases in their particular example. So expected ROI to be demonstrated, 42% said six to 12 months. That's interesting, because that's relatively quickly. Last year, our survey suggested that it takes longer than that, but it sounds like there's optimism here. Uh, and then fewer percentages for smaller amounts of time or larger amounts of time to be, to be demonstrated. So who implements AI projects? This has been an interesting one of the last couple of years. So the business, line of business has caught up so 42% of respondents saying line of business is responsible for implementing AI at their companies. That's the exact same percentage as the IT. But last year, it was 25% for line of business. And IT was roughly the same and mixed up with these others that you see there, service providers, consultants, and so on. Right? So it's exactly what our survey predicted last year, by the way, because of the following question, which we asked again last year. But we're seeing again this year. So this year, when we asked who should be implementing AI projects, 65% say it's in the line of business, right? It should be, right? And only 13% to IT. So we're going to continue seeing that shift. So back to VentureBeat and, and the way we think about AI community, right? So it starts with being thoughtful. Right? So when we put this event together or developed it over the nine months, we had conversations with more than 200 people and companies. And we listened to you, right? So you were focused on pragmatic AI. You didn't want the hype, right? You were interested in education because of the lack of res uh, resources and, and information out there. And interested in deployment because the majority of projects are not seeing the light of day for many of you. Right? So, um, in terms of news, right, we're also being very thoughtful, right? We're producing uh, 20 million page views over the last 20 months in just our AI channel alone. Um, so I'm proud that we are a leader in, in, in AI news. Um, but we know that we're just at the beginning, and we're going to continue that uh, going forward, right? So we actually did put, uh, this, was, this was actually the slide, if I could go back. So when we um, started putting the event together, we brought an advisory group together, and these are some of the brands that are on the group of advisors uh, for us. 
So the team put together the AI Innovation Awards. Right? Uh, then what we want to do is we want to focus on sub-communities and activities where we can add value as VentureBeat. So this morning, you probably heard, we had 200 women in AI meet at breakfast. We've heard that that is the first time that sort of gathering has come together. Right? We're going to have a workshop that's related around ethics generally later on in the day. We're going to have a diversity workshop as well. We're going to have a Women in AI Awards as well. And we're going to have sessions around explainability, responsibility, explainability, and privacy. So these are all issues we want to double down with you over the next 12 months beyond just the, this event. We do want to create an AI private forum around these pragmatic AI issues and invite you to get involved. It's very close to launching, so we'll be in touch with you there. Right, so we're seeing the appetite from you to keep scaling this further, but with the intimacy that you enjoy. So we want to hear from you. We want to hear what you find is the most important. Uh, please contact me. Right? Uh, how would you like to get your voice heard? Uh, we're going to be building some of the most you know, must-attend events in these specific areas in AI and in digital content as well to influence the AI community. Right, so please join us.